This video supported in part by... It's just a VR YouTube channel. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I am John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. You may have seen my review of the Atari VCS, the Indiegogo crowdfunded console released several months back. And it has now been almost six months since I first got my hands on the VCS. And while I am a lifelong Atari fan who really wants the VCS to succeed, if for no other reason than the power and legacy of its name, I was somewhat critical, and I believe fairly, of the things in this console that were under-delivered or felt unfinished. I said back then that I really felt the VCS was lacking any sort of killer app. The absolute greatest thing you can only do in the VCS that you can't do on another existing platform or for that matter on your PC today. And unfortunately that prediction came to be true. I have not found myself drawn back to the VCS since I posted that review some many months ago. But I have been following the news on the VCS with great interest. I know there have been software and firmware updates. I know there have been an expansions to the offerings inside of the store. I even said in that initial review that if things changed or improved, it could warrant a second look video. And here we are. So in this video, I'm gonna do just that. Take the VCS back off the shelf, plug it in, let it update, and find out what is new, different, or hopefully improved since we last took a look those many months ago. So let's take the old VCS, blow off the dust, and get started. Don't you know that you're a grown up? No gates, no fun slots. Not a lot if you're a grown up. Okay, let's get started. I've got it plugged in, powered it on, and as soon as it got on the Wi Fi, sure enough, the first thing it said is there's an update. So it's downloading and working on this update. So we'll jump forward to when this part is done. All right, that wasn't bad. Took under 10 minutes to do. And as soon as it did a quick restart, it told me there was a BIOS update. So it's running that BIOS update now. I had heard the boot up animation had changed somewhat. So I'm eager to see how that's. Oh, here's the asteroids. Oh my goodness, they fixed it. If you saw my review, you might remember that one of the many hammers I kept beating the VCS up with was the fact that much of it felt unfinished. And I kept pointing to that opening animation that had that asteroids animation and the nice open cord, and then it just cut off abruptly. I had a lot of people in the comments tell me that's just the way it is, stop being nitpicky, there's nothing wrong with it. But the fact that they fixed it, listen how it used to be. <laughs> And now again, play that updated one and listen how much nicer. Yeah, right? If nothing else, that's a little bit vindicating. That tells me that yes, indeed, someone at Atari acknowledged that that was wrong. Now, the egotist in me would like to say they saw my video, and but I have to imagine that anyone who listened to that chord realized it was broken. So certainly, Someone saw it and fixed it, and I'm happy at least there. So there's some polish, a little bit more finish on the design. All right, so here's the login screen. Looks pretty much the same. I'm gonna use my classic controller, setting up my dashboard. That looks the same. All right, firmware upgrade available for, oh, for the controller, I guess. The thing looks a lot different. I see some updates. Oh, look, updates available for some of my apps. All right. The UI doesn't look any different to me though. So look at my games. Yeah, I see some of mine are updating. Let's go to the system first and let's update my controller. Since it says I did have an update, let's see how that goes. Uh, update controllers, here we go. Update now. Uh, please connect the device via USB to update. Oh, okay. Well, I've got to get my USB cable, hold on. All right, well, that was pretty painless. I mean, I just plugged it in as a USB. It re-recognized it. I was able to upgrade. It took under five seconds. It was instantly updated. It says now it's up to date. So, uh, so let's quickly go for a tour. The store is where this is gonna become a big deal because you need things in the store that are absolutely gonna drive you to come back to use the VCS again. So let's see what kind of volume we have in here. So I'm seeing a few things that weren't here before. Oh, Boulder Dash Deluxe, great game. 15 bucks though. I mean, Boulder Dash, you can play it anywhere. Yeah, okay, let's look at all the games. Let's just come across here. So there's a lot more in there than there was, but you know what jumps out at me that tells me there's not much in there is I don't see a way to search. So there are these filters across the top, but not search. If there's no search, I mean, that tells you that you can see everything there is to see 
with just by browsing. Let's click see all. Let's see everything that there is. All right. And I have to keep clicking load more, so. All right, so here's a look at everything that's in the store, it looks like. Well, there you go. I mean, we're talking 20, under 30 titles. Under 30 titles in the games category. Still, after six months. And that's not great. All right, apps. I feel like I'm seeing new apps in here. I see uh, but Pluto TV, I see HBO Max. Uh, I think Hulu was there before. Oh, there's a test for your gamepad. All right, some more apps in there, but... So a few more streaming opportunities, if you want to use this as a set-top box for streaming. You're not wowing me, VCS. I mean, you fixed that boot screen, you added a few apps, but only 30-some games, only 15 or 20-some apps in there. I'm not seeing anything that tells me that, all right, VCS, now that you're publicly available to everybody, not just backers, we are off to the races and we're running. What I see is very iterative. It's small adjustments to what we already had. Uh, I don't see any big advancements here. I'm underwhelmed. I'm definitely not changing my initial review score. So on that first review, if you go back and look, I gave it about two and a third tokens or so out of five. And I was hoping that when I took a look at the machine many months later now, I hope there would be a great impetus and reason that I would want to go now. The VCS is ready. But I, I'm, I will not modify my review score based on what I'm seeing here. Even though they have had all this time to do improvements, to address the criticisms of early reviewers like me, all they've done is update that boot animation, add a few games and apps, and still leave you with a box that for my money, even as a diehard Atari fan, is a bit underwhelming. Hey, if you have a differing opinion, I would love to hear that discourse down in the comments below. I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, you made it to the end. If you liked this video, the best way to say thanks is to watch one more. Here are a couple suggestions that you just might enjoy. And if you love our content, maybe consider becoming a Patreon supporter by following the link on screen. Unacceptable for grown-ups Your dinner cannot just be french fries